before I pass you the connect bands, we use uh, uh, POS3 to rehydrate, do a lot of little mini things to try to help give our guys an advantage because when we compete, The idea, the idea really is that we're just working on your core, your hips, your, your hamstrings, your glutes, hip flexors, just trying to make them quicker and faster and stronger. A lot of these guys, I noticed that they don't understand how important having those strong hips are for the hip, for when you're talking about hip pressure, and that's what I was showing Christian the other night is, when, when, you real, when somebody really applies hip pressure on you, you can feel the difference. And that's what you got to do when you're when you're now for you, John, when you were so quick and fast and I don't know about the hip pressure, but some of these guys, they just keep trying and trying and trying to splatle and they keep trying to pull it in, but they're not pushing from the hip as they try to pull the leg in. I mean, it's all you. You're not helping yourself when you don't apply any hip pressure. And that's what I'm trying to do is help them strengthen their hips. So it's. It's not, it's not really about making the move itself. It's going through the motion and then feeling how your hips are going to get stronger. So you guys just kind of pull around a little bit. Now, uh, take a shot to do a duck up. We're going to do a slow change underneath around the back. A lot of guys will do a duck in the back. Now, uh, we're going to do a, uh, we call a, uh, a Russian yank. We're take the arm, we're going to do a uh, two on one yank. Get the arm two on one, do a little slow. It's like a baseball, you yank the arm real hard and then see how the guy reacts. If he reacts to go forward, if you grab the leg, if he pulls it back, then you can also grab that leg. It depends on how he reacts. If you're yanking his arm, you get him up to get him out of position, off balance. Okay? Tap and go, tap and hit and go. That's how you distract him up top, and he's in. Back to back. Explosion. So the K-bands help us with our quickness and our explosion. I give you some circle motion guys. Watch him just move around, watch him float around. Level change up and down, some of the basic skills in wrestling. One of the basic skills is movement. So how they're moving, they're not crossing their legs. Another basic skill of wrestling is level change. Keep going, guys. So they're changing levels. Hard to hit that, that, uh, hard to hit that moving target. Up and down, up and down. We've got our guys are really close. So we're circling. So we're circling one side of the We want to be aggressive. We want to be, we keep moving. We want to attack. We want to be in the center of the mat. We're trying to get them in shape here. Now we've got spring football coming up here in a couple months. And recess and big tournaments coming up. So anyway, that's kind of how we use the bands before our matches. Uh, the guys put the bands on, they jump rope a little bit, and they uh, put the bands on and do a little motion. Uh, guys face, face that way and go side to side. Keep them a little closer together, closer together. Keep closer together, that goes to the right. Go to the right, stand down real low. Now those guys go high knees, high knees, go slow. Now we're going fast, fast, fast. We're going fast, fast, fast. Now give me some uh, lunges. Come back here. Some lunge towards the leg. Using those arms. Use those arms. Now you're going to lunge back. Using those arms both ways. Those little things to help with core strength, flexibility. You know, trying to build those glutes and all this in here. Trying to get solid there. We'll be solid here in the heart. We'll be solid here as well. That's, that's those are some of the things that we do. If you have any questions, uh, milesource.com has some great uh, YouTube videos, great training, uh, core training, all kinds of uh, wonderful ideas to help your athletes take it to a higher level.